Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and shout out to my New Balance family for sending these my way. This is my first time covering the New Balance 1006 silhouette. This is an amazing tennis shoe and it's in the white and silver colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome in today we'll be covering a tennis shoe this is the first time i'll be covering the new balance 1006 really excited to go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how i style this really fashionable uh, tennis shoe and then we will talk about how much these are going for currently on the retail market let's jump right into it so for those of you who are tennis players or you're just maybe in need of a good all-around sneaker to wear to be fashionable and this could be something that's great for you I think that the look of the sneaker overall is beautiful it's clean I'm obsessed with this colorway just because it's pretty minimalistic but as far as the technology goes in the sneaker itself especially for those of you who are looking for a good tennis shoe this may be something that you should 100% try out one of the things I love about this is it has great lateral stability I almost feel like this honestly would be an amazing volleyball sneaker as well just because of the cut and the shape of this uh, but the outsole also is very durable to handle those just really hard cuts and steps that you take while you're playing tennis or even again a sport like volleyball where you have a lot of those different lateral movements they're quick and sharp uh, but a lot of that uh, comes from the endurance technology that has this long wear drag tip rubber compound and um, it's equipped with a rev light so you can kind of see the branding over here technology in the midsole and that basically pretty much keeps your foot super springy in your step so i love the fact that it keeps not only your foot springy but it also keeps it light and breathable all right, so as far as the color scheme goes, we've got a lot of perforation on the toe here. Pretty simplistic with the color scheme. They kept the entire upper pretty much white. You do get hits of that silver kind of throughout and then some gray in between those eyelets. Uh, I've got some simple white laces on here and then we've got subtle colors. The only really pop of color that you're gonna see is where the New Balance branding is in that nice kind of pastel uh, orange colorway. And then we've got the 1006 in gray. So let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling. to the side panels this is where you're getting this really cool metallic silver end and I just think this is what really makes it more of a fashionable tennis shoe uh, as we work our way underneath to the underlays you've got some different materials intermixed throughout uh, so I do love that they change the underlays and overlays material wise but they do keep it pretty simplistic uh, with that just simplistic white tone wrapping around to the back 
keeping it with that white uh, color combination the same on the lateral side of the sneaker on the back of the heel we do have a light gray tone and the interior is also in gray and that pop of orange uh, working our way again down to the midsole that's where we've got some more silver for the rev light branding and then white underneath the outsole is completed with a heather gray and again that matching orange tone for the new balance logo all right let's take a look at all of those last and final details As far as size and fit goes, I would say six true size in this one. I am uh, typically a seven and a half in men's. So if you do have higher snow feet like myself, do take that into consideration if you have flatter, wider feet, because that may differentiate from my own since we do have different types of feet. All right, so now let's talk about styling. Again, I know this is a sneaker that is meant technically for playing tennis, but I think that this is also something that's super fashionable. And a lot of that has to do with the metallic hues that you see used throughout the sneaker. So the first look, I definitely wanted to bring some metallic into the mix. So I wore some nice metallic cargo pants with a nice white cut up tee. I feel like riding tonight. I'm kind of sick of chasing. I'm sick of making art. It makes me crazy. I don't feel like tonight my thoughts are racing i don't feel like being me i don't feel like changing Then for the second look, I decided to wear some jeweled denim pants. I definitely feel like jewels really will go well with this. Um, and I wore a white long sleeve crew neck top to keep it pretty simple and matching the white hue of the sneaker itself. Tomorrow you wake up the same. You may not remember my name, but I'll dream what I never did to claim. Then for the last look, I decided to wear a one shoulder long sleeve button down shirt with some jeweled shorts. I'm sick of making love. It makes me crazy. I don't feel like sleeping tonight. A caged animal pacing. I don't feel like leaving the house. I don't feel like staying. Oh, fly with me. All 
right, so as far as retail goes, these retail at $120. And right now on New Balance's site, these are actually going for a little bit below that price point. A lot of different uh, shoes on the New Balance site are actually on sale. So definitely check in if you're looking for a great steal right now. I will have all of my links down below. So be sure to click on those if you're interested in checking out a pair of these. All right. Again, thank you so much, New Balance, for sending these my way. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you all on the next episode. Oh,